Hello there. I know it is Saturday and um, I'm a day late with this video, but um, better late than never. I want to finish this challenge off because what I want to talk to you about today um, is important. And I want you to have this tucked um, just in the back of your mind as you go through these last few weeks of summer. So today I want to just talk a little bit about mindset. I know, it's so fun. Some people are very good at it. Some people are just very good at controlling their thoughts and having strong beliefs and not wavering on those beliefs and having belief in, their, in, in themselves. They do not waver from that. They are just firm in who they are what they can accomplish, what they will accomplish, and there's nothing that will knock them off of that. And then there's some that doubts always creep in. We might have a moment of, yes, I can do this. And then just a little bit later, we get that. But can you really? Really? Do you? Do you really? So, um, it was recently described to me as those thoughts that come at us with all the doubts is, um, can be perceived as our ego stepping in. Um, you can decide that it's that if you want or not, it's totally up to you. Um, I kind of like that analogy a little bit of, um, that our ego is so loud sometimes, um, it's hard for us to quiet it and to step into who we know we really are and step into what we know we can accomplish. So that's what I wanna leave you with today. I wanna leave you with um, your mindset. I want you to take stock of your thoughts and your beliefs I want you to be aware as you go through the, through your day, how do you talk to yourself? We are very hard on ourselves, very hard. We are harder on ourselves than anybody else. And it's because we have high expectations of ourselves. We sometimes expect perfection. That is not an option. Trust me, been there, tried that. I have a long history of perfectionism and feeling like I need to be perfect in order to be worthy. But um, our worthiness shouldn't be attached to any of our accomplishments. Um, Take this challenge for example so i have seven of you amazing ladies in here and i am so incredibly thankful for every single one of you and now if i said to someone i launched a challenge and um i only had seven people that could feel like a failure and i could attach my worth to that but that's not what this is about this is about the fact that I have seven of you that I have been able to pour into this week. And I am so beyond grateful for that. And I'm just so excited to see what this can do for you going forward. And um, what else we can maybe do together or other ways I could support you or help you. So when we get to our goals and what we try to achieve in life our worth isn't attached to that our worth is who we are and who we believe we are not what we accomplish so i want you to take that tuck it away um i challenge you to um go on pinterest 
I do this all the time and I just pin some good journal prompts because sometimes we, like I said earlier in the week, um, we can struggle to journal. It's not always the easiest thing to sit down and you kind of open your journal and you go, now what? So journal prompts are really a great thing. Um, I have this beside my bed and I'll often, if I can't go to sleep at night, I'll just throw a bunch of things in here. Um, if I'm thinking of something or something pops into my head and I know I'm going to forget it by morning or it's one of those, oh, I have to get this done. But in order to go to sleep, I just need to get it out of my mind. It goes in here. But the other thing I've been doing in here is I've been filling it just with powerful affirmations. Now, an affirmation, a lot of people get this. Well, I shouldn't say wrong. An affirmation can be whatever you want it to be. But a lot of people think affirmations and like manifestation and things like that is um, like today I will somehow produce a million dollars. Really? They can become unrealistic and out of context. Um, so I mentioned to you this book, Miracle Morning. It's an incredible book. It teaches you um, how to visualize your future, how to um, create powerful affirmations, um, what manifestation and meditation should look like. It's just, it's a really great book. Because the whole idea is his miracle morning, what he wants you to try and accomplish is to have time of silence, to um, rewire your mind to overcome beliefs that limit your potential. So those are your affirmations. And you need to sculpt those affirmations to fit what you want to believe about yourself. And then he talks about visualization, um, experience the power of envisioning yourself at your best each day. That is a very powerful thing. I have recently come into a place where I visualize the future me, who I am wanting to become. Because in reality, on the inside, I'm already her. So I need to act like her now. So by visualizing who she is, I can act like her now. And that's how I become her. So that's where visualization has really helped me. He also talks about exercise, how important that is, um, reading, and then journaling. So I hope this is helpful. And um, I'll throw some of my affirmations in the email today so that you can see what they look like. The email might go out tomorrow, depending on how my day goes. But um, I'm going to post this video in um, the Facebook group right now. And I hope you have a fantastic weekend. We'll talk soon.